Hi, this is an overview of level four of exploring creation with mathematics. Level four is a traditional fourth grade year of math, and most kids take one year to complete one level. If you're interested in this program, you're going to need to buy two books, the Spiral Bound Student Book, which contains all the activities, games, lessons, and the practice pages for your student. They're going to be writing right in this book, so it is consumable. And then this is the answer key teaching guide. This book has notes on every lesson to you, the parent, to help you in teaching it. It has thumbnails of all the practice pages with the answers right on the page so you can check their work. It also has a suggested pacing guide. And in the back are tear out pages to use in all the activities. There's also the optional tests included in this book. That is new starting in level four. Most of the items that you need for the activities are common household items. We've actually created a complete list for you if you want to check that out online before you purchase. There are a few items that are math specific that I want to show you. So you're going to need linking cubes. These are also used in levels one through three. You're going to need your set of base 10 blocks. Again, these should be familiar if you use the lower levels. You're going to want to get a four operation calculator for your student. This is just one of those really inexpensive calculators. We're going to start using calculators in the right way in this level. Fraction tile as they're learning about fraction. Pattern blocks. These are inch squares. You don't have to purchase them. You actually can just cut them out yourself out of thin cardboard or something like that. But if you do grab these, they're really helpful for area, perimeter, and some of the other topics in the book. And for geometry in this level, you're going to want to purchase a compass and a protractor for your student. This program follows the concrete pictorial abstract philosophy of teaching mathematics. Whenever we learn a new topic, we will teach it concretely first with something hands-on. Then kids will work with a picture of that topic and finally they'll move to abstract mathematics. Also, this program is a blend of mastery and spiral. The chapters are organized around the same topic, so you might have a whole chapter on fractions, but there's also a spiraling skills practice review. So every day your child will be taking five to 10 minutes to review a previously learned concept so they can really get it into their long-term memory. Start by looking at the teaching guide answer key. So when you open this, you will notice we provided a suggested pacing guide for you, and it's based on a four day week. At this level, there are um, 115 lessons. So it will take you 36 weeks following that four day a week schedule to get through the whole level. On every day, we've told you what lesson to do with your child and also what they're practicing for the skills practice. So on this day, your child's doing less than 115 and they're practicing multiples as their skill practice. There are a few things that are new in this level. One is the problem solving element, and that is explained in detail right here. There are also optional chapter tests that I'm going to show you that are at the end of this book. Each unit starts with a list of all the supplies that you need for that unit. And then there'll be a description in detail of the skills practice. What are you practicing and how can you practice it? So if you're working on subtracting three-digit numbers, there's a bunch of different ways you can practice, whether it's a game or something real quick, like doing a problem on a note card. You've got all your answers with thumbnails, notes on the lessons, help you with different strategies, etc. When you get to the back of this book, when you've gotten through all the answers, you will see the tear out pages that you need for all the activities that are in the student book. And then with this level, we decided to add optional tests. You don't need to use them if you don't think a test would be beneficial for your child, but we wanted to provide it uh, because some of you said it would be helpful for assessing mastery. So those are at the end here and you can just tear these out and have your child take it. All of these tear out pages can also be printed from the Book Extras website. So the student book, you work through this book cover to cover. The connection here with science is sea creatures. So fun, especially if you're in the dead of winter doing math. 
to get to see all those wonderful sea creatures. We start with a unit on numbers and place value. Then we move into multiplication. And then from there, we're headed into geometry. Unit four is division. Unit five, we're talking about measurement. And unit six, possibly my favorite unit, is fractions and decimals. All right, let me show you a sample lesson. The lessons follow a similar format. They typically start with an activity. So in this lesson, uh, you actually are going to set up sort of a game for your child where they have to search for the correct answers to these place value questions. All of this is described in the answer key. It's super fun and gets your child engaged, but also provides some great review. Then building on that, they head into the lesson. They're learning about six and seven digit numbers here or larger numbers. And then we have a lesson. And then finally, they're comparing and working with those larger numbers. And then that ends that lesson right there. Now, not every lesson starts with an activity. Sometimes a lesson will start with a warm up if it makes a little more sense to just have them do a quick warm up and jump in. This is a new element for this level. It's problem solving. Problem solving are, is when child, children are working with open ended problems that can be solved in different ways. So, this is a very gentle intro to that. We're teaching them different strategies. Um, and how to work with those problems and explain their answers. There's one problem solving lesson in each unit and that skill will be built upon in future levels. All right, let me show you a unit here to give you more of a flavor for this. Unit six is on fractions and decimals. So it starts with how fractions and decimals point us to the creator and how we see them in creation. And then we're gonna jump right in to fractions. You'll still see lots of concrete and pictorial representations as kids work with this concept. And then it starts to get more abstract. They're doing using dominoes here to find equivalent fractions. Here's the chapter review. There's a review at the end of every chapter. And then we're jumping into decimals. Again, it's starting concretely with money, of course. <laughs> Pictorial representations with these grids. They're using fraction tiles here. It starts to get more advanced. And they're doing operations with fractions. And then at the end of every unit, there will be a project. So the project here is in the kitchen. They're going to be cooking and they're using fractions and mixed numbers to cook up a recipe. You can find more information on this level on the Apologia website.